How do you eat healthy while on a road trip? Plan ahead. Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I'm Jessica. I'm Brian. That's Keith. And this is Oliver. Today we are going on a great road trip. We're going to be on the road for over seven hours, so we thought we'd bring you along and show you what we eat while we're traveling. Now, you may be wondering, where are you guys going? Well, we're going on up north to Rochester, Minnesota. Yes, you may actually remember from our live stream a few weeks ago that we went up to Rochester, Minnesota to stay for a week at an Airbnb just so that we could film a bunch of awesome videos to bring to you guys. So this was the day that we left for the trip and we were super excited and we were headed off and it was kind of a gloomy day though. Yes, it was a very rainy day starting out in St. Louis, but we needed to drop off Oliver at his happy place. You may be wondering, where is Scout? Well, Scout stayed with her grandparents, but Ollie absolutely loves this place that we take him when we travel. So he ran off and then we were back on the road. He was not seen again for one week. You guys, we brought a lot of stuff with us on this trip. So we wanted to show you how packed this car was. I'm not entirely sure how Jessica packed our entire kitchen into one car, but she did. And I couldn't really see out of the sides or the back, but it was perfectly fine and I tried to be as safe as possible while driving. Hey, I left you a little sliver so you could see out the back window. But this isn't a video about how to pack up a car. This is a video about eating on the road. So what did we eat for breakfast? Well, Ryan, I'm glad you asked. I packed up some delicious homemade muffins. Okay, maybe there was only one muffin, but it was the last test batch that I had made before we hit the road. This recipe will be coming out soon and you guys will not want to miss this one. Yes, that recipe is amazing. But as you guys know, I haven't really been eating breakfast, but this was a little bit of a different circumstance. We had been up for a good while packing up the car before we even left and I just felt that I needed to have something in my system to kind of keep me going and to keep me focused. So I chose to eat a banana alongside the half of the muffin that Jessica shared with me. Side note, bananas actually make a really great snack for the road and every time we leave for a road trip, we always seem to have some ripe bananas ready to use anyway. So pack those along, just make sure you bring a bag to put the peels in. Wait, you don't chuck those out the window? No. After that, we were headed to sunnier skies and beautiful clouds ahead in the great state of Iowa. It had been a while since I'd actually been in the state of Iowa. I don't really remember a lot of it. I gotta say, it was actually a pleasure driving through the state this time around with such a lovely sky above us. But we had a little bit of a stop that we had to get to in Iowa. Yes, anytime that we go on a road trip, I always look up our route and see if there are any cities that we should stop in for some whole food plant-based or really close to whole food plant-based food. And we kind of hit the jackpot in Cedar Rapids at the Nubo City Market. Now, Cedar Rapids actually seemed like a really cool town that we definitely want to go back and explore some more. And this market is no exception. The place that we ate at was called the Full Bowl, the Full Bowl, Full Bowl. <laughs> full bowl. It's hard to say full bowl, but it's called the full bowl and it was phenomenal. So this place has a really simple menu. They have three options on any given day and we ended up getting two of their bowls. The first one was the no coast bowl, which is black beans, onion, and garlic served over brown rice with a house-made lemon garlic sauce topped with a little bit of cilantro, green onion, red cabbage, and mild salsa. It also has a house-made vegan cashew sour cream on top. The other thing that we got was called Bila Fozolova, which was their weekly special. It's a traditional Czech dish of white beans with onion, garlic, spices, and they served it with their house-made cashew sour cream and house-made vegan Czech-style sausage. And it is served over organic brown rice and topped with fresh parsley. 
this place was amazing. I just loved the no coast bowl, which is like their, you know, number one dish. Brian was so in love with that weekly special. He, he went back over and talked to the guy and actually he showed him the recipe for the vegan sausage that he made. And you guys, it looked like a whole food plant-based recipe that we would have made on our own. They're, they use super clean ingredients and they're very thoughtful about how these put these dishes together. This is definitely somewhere that we will be stopping at again in the future. And Brian is still raving about it. You know when you get that reaction from Brian that you saw there, you know it, that it's good. I contemplated going back for seconds. After that, it was time to get back on the road. My favorite thing to do while on the road with Brian, cause he always drives, is get some work done. So I pulled my laptop out and I was actually working on some stuff for Plant Powered St. Louis, which is the Plant Peer Communities pod in St. Louis that I help co-lead. You can check it out at the link below. I have no idea how she doesn't get car sick while she does this. Okay, so we are at a gas station. And when we used to go on road trips, gas stations would mean not good. Bad food. <laughs> we would go and get all kinds of snacks and candy and yeah, not a good situation. So when we go on road trips now, we always, so we don't normally snack like in our everyday lives a lot, but like when we go on road trips, you know, you want to snack anyway. So we just like to have some really healthy options on hand so that we don't have to worry about buying anything or being tempted. So what is, what is your thing of choice, Brian? I actually prefer to get some apple chips that have no sugar added. They're literally just dried apples. And uh, these have some cinnamon on them as well. I absolutely love these things. They are great and uh, a much healthier option than what I would have gotten before. The other thing is buy these before you go. Because if you see these in a gas station, it'll be like $10. For yeah, this bag. way more expensive. Yeah. Um, I do like to keep, I'm probably not going to eat one a day, but I do like to keep Laura bars on hand too. Just because, it, again, if you find these in a gas station, they'll be like $3 a piece. Like this was a dollar. But I'm probably just going to put that back in the bag. My snack of choice for today is actually the kale chips. We actually reviewed these on one of our very first videos. We'll, yep. link, we'll link to that. It's like, it's it's just, it's so, it was so long ago. Go back and see the young Crocs. <laughs> anyway, um, these do have some salt, so they're not 100% like perfect, but this whole bag is like 160 calories and it's mostly kale sunflower seeds, lemon juice, uh, miso, carrot, nutritional yeast, tomato, turmeric, you know, it's like really good ingredients and they're actually like air dry. They're not even, they're not fried in oil or baked or anything like that. So I love these for a little crunchy snack on the road. Yeah. But Speaking of that, let's get back on the road. wondering what we're drinking on the way I actually bought this really cool filtered water bottle it's like a Brita bottle um and I bought it at Target a few months I don't know a month or so ago and it's really been helping me drink more water and it's good on road trips too because I can fill up anywhere and I can have filtered water whenever I want it has a little button -da -da, and it's just like mm, water cheers So after several hours of driving throughout the beautiful Midwest, we finally made it to Rochester, Minnesota. And of course, on the way in, we noticed the Hy-Vee, which ended up becoming one of our absolute favorite places to go. And we practically went there every night to pick up supplies for the next day. But we couldn't stop there at this time because we had to get to what would be our home for the next week, this beautiful greenhouse. As soon as we arrived, it was time to unpack all that stuff. Brian, did you really need to bring your entire spice cabinet? Yes, yes I did. Mm -hmm. 
Walking into the kitchen, it was we had been studying the pictures of this place for so long. It felt like a dream after that seven and a half hour drive. It was beautiful. It was the best. I can't even, I miss this so much just watching this footage. Hey look, that's exactly like our refrigerator. Yeah, it's already stocked with our stuff too. That's amazing. <laughs> But yes, we, we checked everything out. We unpacked all of our stuff and made this place into a total disaster. That's a really cool microwave, by the way. Um, but they, this kitchen was stocked with all kinds of stuff, but we did bring a lot of our own because we just really felt like we'd be more comfortable filming with our own stuff in the videos, if that makes any sense. But that sink, that sink was amazing. I seriously could not wait to start filming in this kitchen. That stove was awesome. It's got a dual oven there. There were all these places and countertops and things we could move around to get wonderful, beautiful shots. And we could practically film in any direction and it would be interesting. This was a godsend of a kitchen. It was awesome. Yes, and here you can see the boxes and boxes of stuff that we did actually unpack from the car. We brought our Instant Pot and our Vitamix and a bunch of just different things. I put together a list based on what we would need to complete all the recipes. Our ambitions were to film 20 recipes while we were here and we basically ended up achieving most of that. So this is just a little sneak peek of the kitchen that you guys are gonna see popping up in a ton of our future videos and we are so excited to share those with you because they all turned out really phenomenal. But that was not the end of our day. We had to eat dinner and get on to something else. Okay, we are in our Airbnb. We just gave you a little tour. It's freaking awesome. It's amazing. This kitchen is going to be fantastic to cook in. Although I think I might have to take the little pots and pans down that are hanging from the top. They're a little too low for my taste. <laughs> But we unpacked everything, we've driven all day, and now we are literally ready to eat. So I packed these salads. They're mason jar salads. This is an upcoming recipe that you guys will see. And I just packed one for each of us. And so we're gonna dig in and enjoy that. And then we have more driving to do, actually. Yep. So after dinner, we got on to driving up to Minneapolis to go see a band that Jessica absolutely loves. Yes, even though we had driven seven and a half hours, I just wanted to go another 90 minutes, well, three hours round trip, to Minneapolis to see Inhaler. They are a phenomenal band. If you guys haven't checked them out, definitely check out their music. It was a super awesome show, but look at this sunset that we had on the way up, you guys. It was ridiculous. So that was pretty much the entire day. We didn't eat anything after dinner, uh, which is pretty normal for us. We're not like snackers after the fact or generally, but uh, it was such a lovely day. It was a very long day, mind you, but it was a fantastic day of getting out and having a blast. 
Yes, and we ended with this epic concert and we were so excited to get back to our Airbnb and to the week of filming we had ahead of us. But subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and click the bell that is right next to it. You will get notified whenever we post a new video. You can find us on social media, mainly Facebook and Instagram. And uh, you should also give this video a like, give this video a share if you are so inclined. But I think that's all I got for this one. That's definitely all I got. We will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye.